Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Mini City Build episode. Now this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be building a new building, the market or grocery store, which should be pretty cool. We're also going to be checking out what I changed in between episodes to the city because I added a few things here and there. And we're also going to be placing down some of the vehicles that you guys sent to me because I requested you guys to send me some miniature cars. Now I'm not going to be placing them all because we have to minimize how many vehicles are on the map so we can minimize on the frame drop. But anyways, let's head into town and see what changed. So up here at the crosswalk, what we have is essentially a crosswalk sign. It looks all right. That's the best I could do. And then over here we have the new flagpole or the new flag. It's pretty much just a giant C for Cake City. And then we're going to head around the corner here. I changed up some of the lines so now we have entry points into like parking lots and new uh, driveways and such. So you can just drive in like this and then all you have to do is back out which kind of sucks, kind of breaks, breaks, breaks the point of uh, parking lots. And we're just going to park this car here and this car was sent to me by Rossman1. It's pretty much the mini city Mustang, it looks pretty sweet, go check his workshop out, the link is in the description. So we're going to hop out right here. And we're going to go up around the corner here behind the cake shop. Behind the cake shop, I added a extended little alleyway here. There's a little parking spot for the owner, which is me. So I can park my car there if I want. <laughs> and then up here, we have like a little stop sign. Pretty simple. And then over here, we have the new parking lot for where we are going to put the grocery store or the market. We're going to be putting it on the side here and around here. So it should look pretty cool. And then up here what we have is the traffic lights. So I figured out how to do these traffic lights thanks to Con Gaming. If you guys haven't seen his uh, channel, go check it out. He has some pretty cool videos. And essentially he had a control box which I kind of modified to my own liking. It's pretty much the same though, just, um, just for these tote bot heads. He had a custom system set up. And in the back here we have a button to open it up and there's all the logic gates to control the circuit. We're going to close that back up as well. And then there's the timers there that change the lights up there. Once it reaches the top, it'll switch to the other, which is green. I was going to add an orange, but that was a little more difficult. I could have done it, but I don't see the point for a little town like this where maybe only a few players will be on. But anyways, we got another road down there and another slanted area up here so that uh, bigger vehicles can get up without getting stuck. And uh, we're going to take the bus for a little drive and see how it uh, works on the city. I haven't really drove it around for quite a while, but we're going to we're gonna test it out. Okay, we're going to turn around this corner. It's going to be a sharp turn there. And then it's going to go up this little slant here, which it's, it sometimes does get stuck, but then it, then it gets unstuck. So here we go. We're going to stop here, wait for the lights to switch two times. We didn't really have to wait. But we're just going to do it for an example. So there's a red light. You just wait here. The little crosswalk things there. I actually didn't uh, design the crosswalks here. I, I should have, but I haven't yet. And it's going to turn green. And then we're going to go around the corner. Now, I'm not sure how this works around this corner. It's just going to be a sharp turn. And this is going to go up this slant here. Oh, that works pretty well. Sweet. And then over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to add yet. We're going to add some more buildings and such. And then we're going to go back down and we're going to start on the market or the grocery store now. I'm just going to go park this back. Kind of breaking laws driving backwards on the road here. <laughs> oh, almost flipped it. Almost flipped it. But before we go and build the grocery store, I'm going to be placing down some of the vehicles. So we have this mini pickup by MarcoCraft412. Place this down and we're going to go park it. Oh, it's the wrong way. There we go. Um, we're going to go park it in one of these parking lots. I think we'll, we'll park it in here for now right up here it's a little weird i think this one actually uses uh the suspension turning which is kind of strange but it works considering how small this truck is so there we go and then we also have another one place it down there we go just turn it put it here cool all right so thank you guys for sending those vehicles they're pretty sweet looking i'm just gonna leave those there and we're gonna go build the um, grocery store now. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna build this so I'm kind of just gonna build as I go. So I think we're gonna have the entrance like right here and then it's gonna kind of loop around 
over here, but we can't really get close to these bushes or the trees because they will kind of stick into the building. So we're going to kind of build it similar to, uh, hmm. I guess we're going to kind of make it look like a modern grocery store. So I'm going to lay out the floor first before we actually start building. So something like this all the way around. Now we're going to make it as small as we can because we're trying to stick to the theme of the city. Now it's going to be a miniature supermarket. A miniature super supermarket. <laughs> I don't think that works really. And then I'm going to kind of lay out the corners for the store. Just to give us a reference of how to build it. Now I don't know if we want it too big. I think that is a good height for the corners. So there we go. There's the frame for the uh, grocery store. Looks alright. Might be a little high, but I think that will be fine. So now we just got to make the walls. I'm not sure what we're going to make the walls at the moment, but I think I'm going to make the uh, hmm, concrete because we have too many buildings with this block here. And we're just going to make the floor these tile blocks, which might look a little weird, but it should do considering it's a grocery store. And usually grocery stores have those uh, tiles, white tiles, gray tiles, whatever tiles. So we're just going to place these down now, as best as we can. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad at all. Kind of looks like a grocery store kind of floor to me. Uh, we could add, like, differentiating tile colors, which might be good. Okay, sweet. That floor looks nice. Now to add the walls. Now I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add another layer here on the bottom to kind of uh, give it some variation. Um, considering that this is concrete as well. Ooh, I need to color those. I totally forgot that. Now to add the entrance. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to add an actual door mechanism for this because we don't have much room. I might just make some normal uh, opened doors. Just something easy until we can actually figure that out later on. So there we go. I think that is the entrance there. Maybe have it kind of like split off right here. And then add the other pieces to it. Sweet. Alright, now to add the walls and the roof. And we should be good. And the last piece of the wall. There we go. And now we need to add some windows because it looks pretty bland here. So we're just going to kind of like cut out some pieces here and add some windows now i don't know if we should use these large rectangular windows or just normal blocks let's let's see which ones look better okay, these ones might need to be extended upwards like that that doesn't look bad that looks pretty good actually okay and then we're gonna do that over here as well I'm not sure if this will look like a grocery store really, but I guess it's our own take on a grocery store. All right, so there we go. There's the windows. It looks a little weird, but I think it will do once we add some color to it. And um, I guess we can add windows here as well. And then we're going to add the roof and then maybe start decorating the inside and see how that looks. Okay, so there we go. I added the roof and I also added this nice sign here and this like arched entryway and i also added some automatic doors now they're not the best because i'm still fiddling with the logic gates so they might improve you just got to sit here for like a second and then they'll open and then this is the exit door here same thing pretty uh pretty uh slow i know but i'll fix it eventually but anyways let's go inside and let's design the interior now i think over here we're gonna have some like coolers for like frozen stuff and like milk or whatever I don't know I don't know and then over here we're gonna have like a cash register or two and shelves and such so I think I'm gonna actually build the uh, coolers first before we do anything so we're just gonna have like some big openable coolers here now they're probably not gonna be actually openable until we're almost done the community project so that we can minimize on lag or frame drops I mean but anyways let's uh, continue this there we go there's the uh, freezers now we just got to add some stuff inside before we add the glass we're gonna have like little shelves in there I guess like this they might be a little too high but I think that will be all right we might be able to trim it okay 
There we go. Add some color. All right, now to add some stuff inside. I'm not sure what we can really put in there because these boxes are too big. I guess we could put some stuff like that up there. Just kind of, kind of make it look like it's filled with stuff. Um, maybe some of these ones. These ones will fit. There we go. Looks good. And maybe some random stuff like boots and ducks and stuff like that. Awesome. There we go. That looks pretty, that looks pretty awesome actually. I like that. Now we're going to add some shelves, I guess, in like the middle here. If they will fit. And then over here as well. And over here. And the cash register. And we should be good. Now for the shelves, I think I'm just going to use like metal. And then we're going to have it go back like this. Um... Maybe. We might have to move it back one though. It might look a little weird, but it should work. Alright, so there we go. There's the grocery store. It is complete. I added some more shelves inside and I finished out the checkout area where you buy your groceries. So we're just going to go inside now. Here's like a little customer service desk with another cash register. Some random posters on the wall. And this is the um, checkout area where you buy your food. Pretty simple, pretty small. And then there's some more random signs and stuff here. And we got some like produce stuff here and ducks. Ducks in a little tiny uh, shelving unit there. I don't, I don't know what that is. And then we got our normal shelves here with some random stuff on it. And another one in the middle. It looks pretty nice. And then over here we have the freezer section or the cooler section. Pretty simple. So that's pretty much it for the grocery store guys. If you have any suggestions for it, please let me know. Um, I tried keeping it as small as possible, and I think that's a pretty good size for a grocery store there. And it kind of fits in the uh, city there. It looks really nice there. But like I was saying, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any tips or suggestions for buildings, please let me know, and hopefully we will get to them in a future episode. And uh, if you guys want to submit anything to me for this city, please send them to the address on the screen, and uh, I'll check it out. So thank you guys for watching. And subscribing and remember stay sweet bye yeah cool I like it oh see what I mean <laughs>